Hello everybody and welcome back to Simulate Gaming and welcome back to Sandy Bay here on Farming Simulator 17. Now today we are continuing with day number two of our silage season because it's day number two of summer. Um, so in the last episode we mowed the grass and wind rolled it into some nice neat swaths. So today we're going to be collecting that and dumping it into the silage clump. Now I did try to record this video yesterday but I found an issue with the silage clump um, and then I tried to do it again this morning and... The course play feature isn't working properly when it comes to compacting and leveling and stuff. So I've decided we're going to bite the bullet and do it all by ourselves. So we're going to do everything manually. So we're going to jump into the Jaguar, which we've got over there. In fact, I'll just jump into it now. Um, so I thought of a hack, actually, which should be quite interesting. Uh, what tractor should we use today? I think we will use the... Well, we're using two tractors anyway, so... Right, this is what we're going to do. Now, hopefully this John Deere doesn't give me FPS issues. I was having really bad FPS issues yesterday, and I don't know if it's because of the John Deere, but we'll soon find out. All right, so before we get going, I just want to break the immersion. Um, unfortunately, we have to get rid of that John Deere, um, because if I get my FPS counter up, you can see we're getting a solid 60 FPS, and um, this is on very high settings. As soon as we walk close to the John Deere, you can see it goes right down all the way to 30, which is a bit annoying. As soon as we walk away from it again... Eventually, it will pick back up to 60, so it's definitely, definitely the John Deere giving us those issues. So let me know in the comment section below what tractor you think we should replace the John Deere with. Whatever gets the most votes, we'll do it. I'm not going to get another JCB, and I'm not going to get another Vulture. But apart from that, let me know what tractor you think we should replace this with, and I'll uh, get whatever one gets the most votes. So today, what we're going to be doing is jumping in to the Vulture, first of all. Let's go ahead and open this. There's no... um. Okay, let's get this door closed here. Why is four-wheel drive on again? Cool. Okay, it's a shame about the John Deere, because I do really like the 6M. Uh, there is a new 6R I've released, but it may be a little bit too big for this farm. Not not too big for the farm, but because we've already got the Vulture and the JCB, it may be a bit excessive. Okay, let's just come across here. So yes, we are going to be uh, collecting something today. Now, actually, I've... I think I made swap tractors in a second, but uh, we have this beautiful little Tatra truck here, which I don't want to risk driving in the field in case it gets stuck, but my idea was to use the rear trailer for the Tatra on the back of the tractor, so the Vulture or JCB if we decide to use it. So let's go ahead and get it disconnected. Now, a lot of people ask for it, so we do now have a manual attach as well, but as you can see, it's different to the one that's on the mod hub. Now, the reason I've got this is because we can also attach things from inside the cab if we want to, like front loader attachments and stuff. I don't know if it's got, I don't know if it's buggy, but we'll soon find out the hard way. Right, so let's jump into the uh, the Tatra here. We'll quickly move her out the way. It doesn't matter where, because as long as it's not in the way of us working today, it shouldn't matter at all. So we'll leave it here in front of the workshop. Cool, and we'll jump back in to the Vulture and collect the trailer. Now, the trailer's not very big. So, um... There we go. Yeah, the trailer's not very big. So, we're going to have to work fast today because it literally only holds a couple of thousand litres. Well, a few thousand litres. Which is uh, going to be a pain. But we are using the Brogun one as well. Now, of course, this trailer does not have uh, the solid shields on it. Which I don't know if that's going to be an issue or not. But, um... Hopefully, we won't lose that much silage in the field. We just have to aim a little bit better with the Jaguar. Right, so we'll take this one out. My steering wheel's getting a lot stiffer lately. I don't know why. I'm hoping I haven't bent the insides of it. Because I sometimes lean on it when I'm typing. As you can see, my keyboard is just behind it. And sometimes I'm too lazy to remove the wheel, so I lean over. And I'm thinking I might be bending the uh, spindle inside or the motors or something. But hopefully not. Right, so I have decided, actually, we are going to swap this round. So... We'll jump out once again. At least we've got it now, so it wasn't a complete waste of time. Disconnect that. We'll uh, close the door again. And we will go put the Brogan on the back of the Vulture. And we'll put that Tatra trailer on the back of the JCB. So how are you guys, anyway? I hope you guys are well. Um, once again, very, very overwhelmed by the response that Sandy's Bay is getting. I really do appreciate the feedback. Um, I've had a lot of comments saying they're enjoying the series because we're using the seasons and taking seasons into consideration. Right, let's go ahead and collect this here. 
Also, apologies if you can hear really strong winds. There's currently, in fact, as I spoke, it hit the window then. Uh, we've got a storm going on in Plymouth, so you may be able to hear Mother Nature knocking at my window, but hopefully not. Hopefully the microphone won't pick on it too much. Although this new microphone is very sensitive. I heard a bus go past the other day before it even got past my house. The joys of living in the city. Right, so we're going to turn out here. We'll get our beacon lights on and our hazard lights because we are going to be staying in the middle of the road for now. Actually, I'm going to pull it forward a little bit more because I just realised I actually want to drive the Jaguar up myself. So this is going to be on follow me. So because of that, we'll close that door. Uh, we need the JCB as well. Now once again, I have turned tabbing off. So if I press tab, it doesn't do anything. So we actually have to walk around and get our uh, tractors. Which is why I got this pickup truck. So if one's on the other side of the map, we use the pickup truck to go get it. Really am gutted about this John Deere, by the way. I thought it would have been a nice little addition to the farm, but... Oh well. You win some, you lose some. So once again, if you uh, make sure you have suggested the tractor in the comment section below. And no, Dave, I'm not getting a Z-Tour. Okay. So we'll turn this around, we'll pick up the uh, Tatcha trailer. Now once again, um, manual attach. With this truck you kind of would do it from the outside, but you'd also do it from the outside. Because you put the hitch into the loop and then lift the hitch up and that's the trailer connected. But then you'd have to do the uh, hydraulic hoses. So we're just going to play it safe and do it this. Uh, there is no physical hydraulic hoses on this model, but not to worry. That was the wrong button to simulate. Now, finally, we can go ahead and get the Class Jaguar, which we're going to be using today. Now, if you did miss the last episode... Actually, would, was it last episode? Ori originally, we had a John Deere here, but that was giving us FPS issues, ironically. Maybe I should just avoid John Deere at all costs. Maybe we should just stick to the... Ooh, actually, this may be giving us FPS issues as well. Back down to 30. Right, we'll get the Jaguar booted up here. We'll uh, lift up the header, because we don't want that drag along the floor. Beacon lights on. And we'll get this into the convoy. So, we could technically use the Tatra, but I don't think it's going to make much of a difference anyway. Um, what is wrong with the FPS? Look, I keep dropping up and down. I'm not sure what's happening. I have noticed other YouTubers and friends and stuff getting bad FPS drops as well lately. So I'm beginning to wonder if it's something to do with the new update not actually the maps themselves, because I've seen other people get the same sort of issues on other maps, so it's not an issue with Sandy Bay. Oh, the hazard lights don't work on that broken trailer. Right, let's get you parked up here. This doesn't have IC, I don't think. Does it have IC? Okay, no, this Jaguar does not have IC, unfortunately. Um, yeah, the hazard lights are on, on the Vulture, as you can see, but on the actual broken trailer, they're just on. So that's a shame. Actually, it might be because IC was on. Right, are you ready, Jimmy? Good. We'll uh, get Billy Bob up in the JCB here. So I do have a course play set up that will ditch or unload the, uh, the shaft even. But I couldn't get it working in the actual silage clamp to compact it for us, which is a shame. You ready? No, it's not. It's Sandra. Hello, Sandra. I was making all these names up. Right, so we get back in to the uh, Jaguar here, and we'll head down to field number four, which is only around the corner. So, yeah, I hope you guys are well. This video is going to be going out on Friday, so I'm currently, the time you guys are watching this, I am currently on my way to Cardiff in Wales, because I'm working in Cardiff on Friday. Which is, uh, it's going to be an alright drive, I suppose. It's not too far. I do like driving road for work. It's nice, uh, nice to get away. So I won't be back until Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening. Um, obviously, unless I can, unless I have time at the end of this video to record Saturday's episode, there won't be a video on Saturday, unfortunately, but I am planning on doing a live stream if I get back in time. So if I'm back and rested by 7pm, um, I will do another live stream because you guys seem to enjoy the last one. But um, I don't know whether to do it back on Kendall Farm or Sandy Bay. I might just keep Sandy Bay for the... Um... Yeah, sure. I think I'm going to keep Sandy Bay just for videos. I don't think I'm going to live stream Sandy Bay. So if I stream on Saturday, we'll be back on Kendall Farm. 
which is our live stream only map for now at least. Um, what does it say on that radio? Grumbro or something like that. It's not English, I don't know. Right. So, I'm going to do the headland first before we put the course play on because I find that follow me works better for the headlands so they don't get stuck. And then when we do our lengths, we'll get the proper uh, proper course play on. So what we're going to do is ask the nice little vulture to go 5 metres on the left. Push up about 5 ahead. Right, let's get our stuff unfolded here. What one is it that unfolds the header? There we go. Get it lowered down here. And uh, we'll turn it on. So we are finally working away now. Though. The JCB, if I just change the camera mode here, that should follow the Vulture until he's full. Um, so we should be able to do the uh, headland in one piece. And then we'll start the proper course play. Now I'm going to stay a little bit to the right. So we'll get the grass off on the left side of the pickup, just so the vulture doesn't end up in a hedge. Which it kind of is doing now, but it's, it's like scraping the hedge. Ain't gonna damage anything but the paintwork, I suppose. Now, what I want to do is set the cruise control to about 9 miles per hour, just so that, um... Just so the vulture doesn't go fast and slow, then fast and slow, so we'll just keep a consistent speed. And that, uh, should do us. Oh, we're actually not actually dropping any silage in there. Let's just make him go 10 metres in front. Now, hopefully he doesn't crash into the uh, the hedge. In fact, I need him to go 5 for this corner, because he will 100% crash into the hedge house. Go on, buddy, keep up. So at the time of recording this, I've not actually seen any of the comments from episode number 3, because I've literally woken up and uh, started recording again, so I'm not sure what the reaction was for that. I'm pretty sure there's going to be people that's angry at me for uh, wind rowing like a noob. But uh, at least it got done. Which is quite neat. It's just uh, I didn't... Oh, he's stuck in the hedge. I think we lost quite a lot of uh, forage then. You ready? Good stuff. There is actually a camera. I can't remember what button it is. There we go. For those of you that don't know, if you have drive control mod, which is the one with the uh, the four-wheel drive and all that good stuff, if you press the right alt on the keyboard, you actually get a uh, pipe cam. It doesn't look very good because we can see the outside of the map in this case, but um, lets you know if you're aiming properly. Look, so there's your fun fact of the day. Press right alt, and uh, you can see. I kind of use it sometimes when we're using normal harvesters. It doesn't really make a difference for this because it automatically follows anyway. Come on. Not doing very well, though, Vulture. On the rehearsals, you uh, were doing quite well. So what's he on now? He's on 76%. Must keep it on the Inspector mod, in case we go over. There he is on 80. We'll cross over to this swap here, because uh, this is where we finished yesterday, which is why the wind road early uh, headland just stopped, sorry. So once we get this headland done, it should be smooth sailing. It's just the headland that's a bit dodgy. In fact, I could probably afford to move him in a little bit more. A hundred, cool. Now I've just had a thought. The John Deere only actually messes up when we are, let me just turn this off. When we are recording, um, it must be to do with, you must use a lot of CPU or something because the recording makes it, the FPS drop. So I don't actually have a tractor to do the leveling with, so we may have to rent one. And we're not sure what we're going to rent. It doesn't have to be a big one. And what we want to do is take this off, follow me, stop the um, the JCB behind us. Let's see what we've got here then. So I called it a third four unload silage. Here's one I made earlier. Nearest waypoint. Good to go. Ah, hang on a minute. There we go. I had the wrong work mode on then, so he's going to go and uh, unload that. We'll finish the headland with the JCB, and uh, hopefully, by the time we've done that, 
the Vulture should be back with us. So you have to go 4.5 that way. You're a smaller tractor, so we can be a little bit closer with you. There we go. Get it booted back up. Let's actually make sure that he's uh, in the proper position. Yes, he is. Now, like I said, this trailer is very, very small, so we may not be able to get much in it at all. But as long as we can uh, keep it going until the Vulture gets back. Basically, we don't want to be just sat in the field doing nothing, because that's just paying wages that we don't need to pay. I like all wheels moving on my farm at all times, which makes no sense because we've got stationary vehicles, but you know what I mean. They're, they're, they're not, no one's in them getting paid. So you can see, we're on 53% already, so like I said, it was a very, very small trailer, unfortunately. Right, now, here we are. I'm just going to go until this is on 100%, and then we'll start the proper course play up, because the course play seems to be handled a little bit better when we are doing the uh, actual passes as opposed to the headland. Because sort of, when we're doing the headland, it crashes into the, um, to the hedges when it drives off, which annoys me. So he's on 100% already. This is bad news. This is very bad news. What are we going to do? So we need to rent a tractor real quick. Now, this is very spare the most. In fact, we'll tell you what. We'll drive the John Deere down with bad FPS. Uh, just to sell it. I got no reason but to get rid of it, unfortunately. So here we are. We're back into it. And we're instantly down onto 30 FPS. So it most definitely is the John Deere. Um, so we'll drive this down at 30 FPS down to the store. We'll get rid of it. And uh, we'll rent a tractor for now until you guys to tell me which one you want. You may not actually be able to notice. The oh, no, I was about to say it's gone back up to 60, but nope, back down to 30. Now, my videos get rendered at 30 FPS. So you guys may not be actually able to tell the difference right now, but there is a massive difference. The thing that annoys me is this tractor is absolutely fine off camera when I'm not recording. It doesn't give me frame drops, but whenever I'm recording, for some reason it does. So it must be a uh, must be heavy on the CPU. This tractor. So I'm not sure what we're gonna replace it with. So I'll quickly go down and sell this. We'll see how much money we get, and I'll meet you guys back at the farm. Okay, everybody. So we are back. Did you really expect anything different from me? <laughs> really? It should do us for now. This is £3,000 a week to rent, so uh, not that bad. We just have to keep it moving so we actually get money back on it. Um, I'm not going to be buying this, though. For those of you that are interested, I won't be buying it. Uh, I still haven't fixed the IC dots. They never go off, which is annoying. So what we're going to do is attach this up to the 698T here. Come on. Up you get. There we are. Move this out the way over here. And the Vulture can carry on with his duties, basically. In fact, we're going to wait for him to finish because we'll push this out the way. I don't think the JCB is going to be very happy. So what we'll do is... How do we unfold this? X? Yeah, it is X. Cool. Get this rotated around a minute. Right, this is the issue I'm having with the silage clamp. I oh, know we did unload fully. Sometimes it gets stuck, but now we've got this huge pile. So basically, I tried to set up a course play that made it automatically, automatically push it back. But it didn't work, unfortunately. So we're going to do it manually for now, and I'll see if I can get it working off camera. Just have to play around with it, I suppose. Right. I think that's as low as it would go. Why are you getting refilled? You got a full, full tank. Oh yes, we'll push this back. Get a four-wheel drive on a minute. Just enough room so that the um, the JCB doesn't get stuck in a second. Right, we're having issues here. We're having issues here. I don't think this blade's low enough. Let's push it all the way back. There we are. Put it back into forward. Lower back. What is he slipping on? We'll have a look in a second. We'll just quickly push this last bit back. As long as they, there's nothing in the unload space, we should be fine. Oh, 
One last little push on this side as well. Right, okay, ready. So we've uh, sorted out the Vultra. He wasn't actually stuck on anything in particular. It's just that uh, Simulate forgot to open the gate <laughs> because I'm an idiot. So we opened it now. We're just currently waiting for the JCB to pass by. Now, I need to look into Apparently, there's a way you can make tractors automatically wait. It, like, see if there's something on the track or something, and then it um, checks it. I need to look into that because that would be very useful so that the tractors automatically wait, like here, for example. Where's this JCB, anyway? There he is. So we can go ahead and... Uh, in fact, we'll just drive this back ourselves. I was going to put it back onto the course, but uh, we'll have nothing to do while we're waiting for him anyway. Why is our lights on? Let's get those turned off. So this video has gone okay, apart from our tractor's broken, which I already knew. I was just doing one last test. I give it one more chance, basically, the John Deere, and it failed. So, um, yeah, we've gone ahead and just sold that now. I think we got seventy-something thousand pounds for that. Um... We got the Massey Ferguson 698T on rental. That's rented from Chellington Farm. So we have to give that back to them at some point. Right, let's go ahead and get you in here. No, that's the wrong way. I want you to go this way. So if we go to Jaguar. Why do you want to go up there? Right, so we are finally out working again. We're a couple of teething issues, but we should be away now. Uh, are you ready, Mr. Vulture? Actually, no, you're not. I want to do one more thing with you quickly. For those of you that don't know how to do this, what the heck is that? This is how you go to here and you want side offset. I'm going to put this down to five like we had it on Follow Me. That seemed to work pretty well. Don't need that. I'm away. Are we unloading? Yes, we are. Cool. <sighs> so that was a bit of a... Uh, a bit of teething problems, but we are now away. So, if any of you guys have got a good experience with uh, setting up the leveling on course play, please let me know, because I haven't got a clue. Uh, basically, my tractor kept reversing. It reversed to the end point and then just started around in circles, which is annoying. Keep up. Cool. Yeah, it just kept reversing around in circles. It wasn't actually leveling anything, which is really, really annoying. This way. This way. We're just picking random rows at the moment. We're just trying to keep the tractor on the left-hand side of us. I'm a bit worried that the JCB has got 97% left. And it's not gone down since. It was on 100. He started unloading to 97 and then stopped. If he comes back here with 97%, he is sacked. He is completely sacked. Let's do a little check again. Yep, we are filling up nice. Cool. We could technically just do this with the uh, the Vulture, but we're not going to. Right. This way again. Uh, we'll take this pass on the end here. So get ready, Mr. Vulture. Mrs. Vulture in this case. Cool. So yeah, as you guys can probably tell... When it comes to FS17, I am a complete dirtpad with uh, the silage clamps. I've never actually had one work properly. Uh, this one here works okay, but sometimes you can press it, uh, push it through the walls. Um, Auction David told me a way around that, luckily. But um, I'm a bit worried still as to why the JCB is still on 97. This is why I need little minions to help me play. Instead of using course play, I could use actual subscribers. That's something I've always wanted to do, but... I can never find anyone mature enough. Everyone just messes around and trolls, so... What we do not ever again. Unless I can find a good group of people. Right, so the Vulture's swinging around. This JCB should be coming up to 100% now. He's on 78 and 80% now. Uh, so he might just get us onto the next pass, and that's about it. Yeah, he will. So we'll get him onto the next pass, which is kind of a good thing, because now... The, uh, the Vulture will be able to maneuver itself properly without getting stuck. So turn down here. Come on. Turning circle is a bit too big on that. You can adjust it, but that usually messes everything else up. So he's on 100% now. We're waiting for the Vulture to come back round. Here he is. 
Now, unfortunately, the JCB isn't actually unloading, and I don't know why, so it's not really much of an issue. We just have to tab around to it and uh, click Control i and that pretty much sorted then. I'm not sure why. It maybe the, doesn't recognise the trailer or something, but uh, still not very convenient for us. So actually, I'm going to go, at the end of the year, we're going to go quite further down the field now, because we're running out of space on this side. Now, you can switch side. In fact, I think the side is on automatic, but uh, we'll play it safe. I don't really want to play around with all the extra settings, because that's usually what makes the uh, helpers driving to all the hedges and stuff. So it's working quite smoothly at the moment. It just doesn't... It just doesn't unload, which is annoying. In fact, when we get around here, I can't actually see anything coming out the harvest. You got stuck, didn't you? Fantastic. Right. Pick a random one. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Let's go down here. No reason why. Let's pick a random ones. I'm just kind of trying to do the field evenly, so if we do everything on that side, then uh, we're not going to have anywhere to turn at the end of this pass, so... Yeah, try to keep it a bit, bit organised. Yeah, we are actually working. That's a really handy button, I always forget I've got it, but... Um, it's good for unloading. Very, very handy for multiplayer as well, so you can make sure that the person's actually underneath, them, uh, underneath you when you unload. Right, so we come towards the end of this pass. We've been in this field now for two, ep three episodes. I can't wait to get out. Um, I am going to do more grass work off camera, I think, because uh, I don't think we'll have very much in the uh, clamp, unfortunately. Now, I have been looking into a cornfield as well, but um, we may have to take out a loan for that because I think it was quite an expensive field, well behind our budgets at the moment. But uh, also, I don't want to be in too much debt. Because uh, that means we'll pretty much get nothing in the autumn because it will all go towards payback loans and stuff. Right, so he's now on 80%. So if I just said here that the JCB now is on 97%, so if I quickly cheat and tab through to it, uh, yeah, enter. Uh, he just doesn't unload. I have no idea why. So what we have to do is manually do it. So we're just going to drive into the clamp. Just unload in a random place like this. It's not very good. For some reason. This trailer does not like this clamp. Right, okay, everybody. So we have one last swath left. And there's actually like a tiny bit of one there. Uh, if I remember, we'll get that. So we're just heading down the last swath now. Um, we turned, we stopped the uh, JCB because there's no point in him coming back up. So we unloaded him just and then um, just left, parked him up ready to be put away at the end of the day. Washed, put away and all that good stuff. So we're just going to collect this last little bit here. Uh, how full is he? He's only 38% full. So yes, we're definitely, definitely going to get this all in. And I'm going to get that little bit at the top as well, because every little helps. This is probably the longest row in the field, actually. Right. Come in, Vulture. One last little bit to do. So um, that was a bit of a pain. Obviously, things have stopped working. We lost the tractor at the very beginning of the video. Course play didn't work. Uh, the trailer didn't automatically unload by itself. The Tatra one. And, uh, yeah. Pretty much it. Yeah, everything else has gone quite smooth. So, um, we're slowly, slowly filling up. Where is that row, by the way? I've lost it. Oh, there it is. Turn. Turn, Vulture. Turn. Here he is. Right. So, um, yeah. We're slowly, slowly filling up. I'll probably do another field off camera just so you don't get the same videos twice. Um, but I am going to look into getting a cornfield, if we can afford that. May have to take out a loan for that. Right, and we are done, Mr. Vulture. So let's just quickly get these little scrag ends on the floor. Cool. Right, so what I want you to do is send driver home. That's no, no. Right, so now the Vulture's off. I don't understand why they have this huge field in course play, but for some reason they always want to go into the nearest hedge. Before we get it turned off, uh, we'll put the pipe away, like so. And we'll take this back down to the yard as well. Now what I should have done, we'll have to race the Vulture, because I wanted to uh, turn last waypoint off, so we'll stop at the next waypoint. But it looks like we're going to be stuck behind him anyway, so it doesn't matter that much. 
So yeah, like I said, a bit of a shambles, but um, we'll get better at it. We'll get better at it. Um, I honestly prefer doing the bales usually, but um, this is to give to our animals basically. So the bales would be good for that as well. But I thought it'd be quite cool to um, use the clamp. I haven't actually used the clamp in any of my let's plays yet. We attempted it on Culper Park Farm, and it was broken. Uh, we didn't collect enough forage on Chellington. So, um, yeah, Sunny Bay is going to be the one where we fill up the silage clamp, whether it kills us. We're going to do it. Everything's growing away nicely. Look, there's our field of barley. Just stop here so you guys can see. Yeah, everything's growing away nicely. Should be a nice bit of yield we get when uh, autumn comes. We've got one more fertilizing to do. One more bit of fertilizing. Oh, here's the turning. There we go. We'll take a shortcut. See if we can beat the Vultra. Um, but, yeah. We've got to spray it one more time in the summer. And then uh, the big harvesting season comes. So autumn is going to be very, very busy for us because we need to get through this gate, first of all. Um, we need to harvest the crops. We need to get the fields ready to plant again. So we've got to plow with it because all the fields need plowing. Cultivate it uh, and then seed it again because we need to seed in autumn for our winter crops. Now, if we beat the Vulture, I'm not sure. We may have. Uh, yeah, we're doing some winter crops, but I've not doing on all of the fields because we're going to we're basically going to get the other fields ready for spring but they're going to be perfect fields so they're going to be fertilized in every possible stage oh should the vulture beat us he's up there look get this parked away um i have decided which fields we're doing for the winter crops and i forgot what they are so i'll have to go check me notes later on get this head lower down turn the harvester off and we are done just quickly uh, sort out this Vultra. Need to jump out and disconnect this trailer. Get all the hoses and stuff off as well. Back up we go. Now we've got one last tiny job just to end up on. And that is we are going to take over. Why are we getting bad FPS again for some reason? This yard. It's something to do with this yard. The John Deere is gone so it's not that anymore. Right, we're going to hook up this uh, silage shield here. Like so. Now, how do we turn the seat around? I've never done it, ever. So, it's going to be interesting for us. Control B. Right, let's see how this works then. Never done it before. So, it's going to be an interesting experiment. Ooh. Whee! There we go. So, that's, uh, I suppose, the uh, reverse steering. How does it look from the outside? Look again, like I said, I've never done it. Just looks like a man driving a tractor, to be fair. Backwards. So what we're going to do now is start flattening this. In fact, what I'm going to do is get rid of those annoying arrows in the sky as well. Good. 